Hey, hey y'all. What's up, y'all? Welcome to day number three. Hey, hey. Come on in the room, y'all. Welcome to day three of the five day launch your high end corporate offer that closes challenge or that close challenge, you guys. Welcome. Living my life. Hey. Woo. You guys, I'm super excited for today because today is all about the marketing, the marketing action plan. And that's all about helping you guys to create a consistent plan that works over and over again for you guys. So I'm excited to be here today. Um, I'm going to introduce myself in just a moment. Let me go ahead and make sure that I'm sharing this in the right place. And um, you guys, I'm still, I'm seeing you guys, you're still doing your homework assignments. You're still posting your homework. Thank you guys so much. It's just awesome to see you guys show up for your business. You guys are showing up and that just makes me so happy because it, it makes me feel um, like all the energy, all the time, all the funding that I put towards creating a challenge that's, that's like, that, like this, that gives you real information that you can actually implement right now was worth it, you know, because you guys are doing the work, right? There's nothing worse than having a challenge of people who are non-action takers, who are just there to spectate, who are just there to like, you know, just to, to say that they did something. And I'm so happy that I'm attracting a group of entrepreneurs who are action takers, who are serious about their business, who are serious about their income. And like, that just makes me so happy. So Welcome. Thank you so much. Um, I am super excited to have you here. All right. Super excited to have you here. Okay, good. The video just got shared in the group. I just wanted to make sure that was all taken care of. Now today, you guys, today, today, our topic, like I said earlier, is creating your, your corporate client acquisition marketing plan, how you are going to go ahead and get your corporate client, right? What are you going to do to get your corporate client like clockwork. So if you have not already, and you are still interested in being a part of this challenge, day one happened on Monday, day two happened yesterday, day three is today, right? So we are in, in the middle of a five day series. So a couple of things, number one, those of you guys who had your homework and you're like, where's the homework thread? You can just type hashtag homework thread in the Facebook group and you'll find day one and day two and day three and all the different homework thread that's gonna be there. So you guys can post your homework in the thread. If it's not posted in the thread, it does not count, all right? And I just wanna make sure you guys know that if it's not posted in the, in the thread, it does not count for, it doesn't count, it counts, but it doesn't count towards the giveaway price, what I meant by that, right? So it counts, but it doesn't count towards you getting a giveaway. And also just follow directions, right? Like, like again, how you do one thing in your business is how you do everything. If you don't follow directions in, 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 in or, you know, learn how to be a, a, a student, right? Then how are people going to follow you, right? So you want to make sure that you're following directions and doing um, what the challenge calls for, right? Everything is done for a reason. We thought about this, like I sat down, we thought about this. How can we make this the, the best experience, experience possible? And this is what we came up with. So you can go ahead and do that. Also, you guys, I'm adding a bonus class. So this is going to be on Sunday uh, in the afternoon at 3 p.m. Atlantic time. And this is going to be a, a think tank. So what is a think tank? If you've never seen me do a think tank before, um, you can let me know because I don't know. I don't know what, what's a think tank, Gabrielle, right? And if you have seen a think tank, if you've been to one of my think tanks, let them know in the comment section, like how you thought about what you guys thought about a think tank, right? So while that's happening, I'm going to explain to you who, what it is. Uh, so a think tank is where I actually, for about 45 minutes or so, or, you know, maybe an hour, I listen to you individually. Um, you tell me what you do, and I give you a corporate pitch, an idea, a, a business strategy that you can take to a corporation that's going to be attractive 
to the corporation. So it's like a mini coaching session. I'm doing that on Sunday. So you guys, if you guys are interested in that, let me know below if that's something that you'll be interested in. Um, it's not, there's not going to be a replay for that. So you have to be there on their live 3 PM. Um, and it's going to be done on zoom. So if you guys, that's going to be more intimate, more chill, probably not going to have all this makeup on, right? Just really chill uh, on a Zoom call where I get to talk to you guys one-on-one. -on -one. That's why I wanted to do it on Zoom. That's a bonus class I'm going to be doing. So if you guys are excited about that, please let me know below. Say hashtag bonus class if you're excited about the bonus, okay? Again, not everyone's going to be there because you know you have to show up live and there's not going to be a replay for that, number one. Number two, you have to have watched video three to know about this bonus class, right? This is for those of you guys who are action takers, who've been doing things, I told you guys, I like to reward action takers. I love to reward people who do the work, okay? So yes, 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 all right? Okay, so let's go into today's information. I already went over um, the homework guide. Uh, the, the, the guide, you wanna get the guide, go ahead and click the link above in the description of this video to download the guide for this challenge. Um, if you don't know who I am, I am Gabrielle Leonard. I'm a corporate income strategy coach. I help my clients close high-end corporate contracts quickly. I myself have been able to close multiple five-figure contracts. And I'm talking like high five-figure contracts. I have clients who close six-figure contracts, multiple five-figure contracts. I have clients who close like 5K contracts, right? It just depends on what you want because everyone's on a different level. But the point is, close a contract, right? It's just guaranteed money. It's more stability. It's more stable for you. A lot of you guys are struggling with having clients who are not paying you on time. You have, you have clients who you have to chase for their money. A corporation is different because they have the money and the budget to pay you. You get that money, right? And so that's why I love getting corporate contracts because this is, this is just a done deal. Right now, I'm currently working on, um, finalizing my proposal or my, my, my thing. I don't want to get too much into it for a, a multi six figure contract, um, a six figure contract. And so you guys, it's, it's, I'm like, I'm having fun creating this thing because I'm creating something that's never done before where I live. Right. And so it's just exciting to just be doing something that's different. I am fully confident. I'm going to get this contract because there's nothing else like it. And they're asking for this, right? So I'm stepping up to the table and, and providing it. And I want you guys to do that in your hometown or wherever you want to provide uh, uh, service to, all right? Okay, so again, take notes. If you miss anything, you guys know that we're, the replay will be posted in the unit section. Have you guys been able to get into the units? How you guys been able to utilize the units, right? Where the homework assignment answers are. Have you guys been liking that? As has that been working for you? Please let me know. I would love to know. That helps me with with my next time I do something like this. I can plan better. Like I love feedback from you guys. Okay. So what are you guys most excited? I want to answer this question. What are you guys most excited to take away from tonight's session? What is the most the, the thing that you really like? You know what? I want to walk away with this tonight. Tell me uh, down below, you guys. I, I really want to know, okay? All right. And I also want to know, how, if you are on right now, how many how many days have you tuned into? Have you been following from since the beginning, the first video? Have you watched the, all the videos? Or is this the first video you're checking in on? I really want to know. So let me know down below as well, okay? And just a little bit of a sneak peek of tomorrow's topic. Uh, tomorrow is going to be day four in this challenge. And I'm going to be covering how to be booked all year round from one contract. I'm going to say that again, how to be booked all year round from one contract, you guys. So I'm going to be breaking that down for you guys. That's a strategy that I use and that I teach to my clients. And that works. That works. All right. So I want to, I'm going to be breaking down, that down, that down tomorrow. So you want to make sure that you come tomorrow. Another thing I want to remind you of, I'm going to be choosing another giveaway winner today and in order for you to claim your prize you guys at the end of the at the end of my training i'm going to be announcing the winner you have to number one have posted your homework in the homework thread day two's assignment or homework in the homework thread of day two all right um and and um you have to be on live when i announce your name all right so just knowing, just want to make sure that you know what 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 is to be expected for this. Now we actually have created a replay page. So there's a page on my website with all of the videos and the workbook for this challenge. It's going to be on one 
page. So if you guys are interested in just binge watching all of this, all of this video before they expire on Tuesday at 6 p.m. Atlantic time, oh yes, there's an expiration date on these replay videos, okay? So if you guys wanna catch these replays, right? Um, you wanna and you you wanna have access to the replay uh, page? Comment below. Let me know. You know, like share below, right? We're gonna go ahead and send this out. But I'm just curious to see how many of you guys are interested in something like that. Like you're like, wow, I actually do want to get the replay page so I can just watch all the videos over again one more time before they expire on Tuesday. Okay. Awesome. I always like to give all the announcement in the beginning so that if you're watching on the replay, you're like lost or you're new and you don't know what's going on. You have all the information at the beginning and then we get into the meat of the, uh, of the information. Okay. All right. So let's see, am I done with all of my announcements? Yeah. So that's pretty much it. Replay page will be up. Um, it's already up actually. That should have gotten, got sent, got sent out to you last night or um, it's going to be sent out to you guys today. All right. So if you let me just go ahead and double check. My team is like on it. They're like, I have a lot of notifications on my phone. You guys, you guys are like, like you guys are here. You are here. I want to double check something really quickly here. Because I can't see all of your comments just yet. Okay, there we go. I see some. So I have some comments here. Okay. Hey, Monica. What's up, y'all? Hey, Tiffany. Uh, hey, uh, uh, Canera, I think is how you pronounce your name. Bonus class, bonus class. Yes, you guys are excited about that. Okay, awesome. I definitely will be doing the Think Tank on Sunday at 3 p.m. Atlantic time. Um, is where uh, where is the homework supposed to be posted? I caught up today. So the homework is going to be posted in. There is a homework thread. You can go in the Facebook group if you're already in the Facebook group. Just hashtag homework thread. And um, the homework is going to be in the homework thread. Hi, Sonika. Hey, Fanita my, uh, Fanita, my team member, she just answered that question. Okay, thank you so much, Fanita. Uh, Jamaica, confidence is taking in, uh, in taking, uh, in talking the, the corporate talk. Okay, if you, so you want to walk away with confidence in, um, you know, when you go to a corporation, confidence to walk away like, yeah, I got this, right? Good. Uh, confused where the post in, uh, in the units. So the units is not free to post in. You can post a comment there, but the units is not free to post in. The units is just the, all of the replay for that day, all the information for day one. So the video replay video is in, in unit one for day one. So unit one equals day one, right? And in unit one, AKA day one, there is day one, the video for day one, there is a workbook answers for day one, and there's the homework assignment for day one. So if you're just getting into this challenge today, and you want to like catch up, you know where all the information for day one is. Same for day two. Yesterday's information is in there. The replay link is there. The homework uh, fill in for the workbook is in there. The answers, I mean, um, and the assignment for day for day two. If I've been saying day one, day two is in there as well. So day one corresponds with unit one. Uh, unit two corresponds with with day two. So I hope that makes sense. Hi, Angela. Hi, Desiree. Okay, so hit me with access to the replay, please. Yes, Timolyn. Hey, girl, what's up? Okay, so I hope that answers your question. Tim, uh, not Timolyn, Ashley. Um, it does, does that answer your question? Please let me know. Please let me know. All right, so yes, bonus class, awesome. Okay, so if you are ready for the content for today, I want you to say super hot fire. Okay, I, I really want you to say super hot fire because this is going to be super hot fire. Okay, if you are ready for today's information, say super hot fire. Okay, and it can't just be fire. It's like fire. Okay, because I'm Caribbean and we, we don't say fire. We say fire. <laughs> okay, say super hot fire. If you're ready for today's content because I'm going to be dropping the what? The super hot fire. Okay, so if you're ready, let me know. We're going to get into it. Yes, yes. I'm, can you tell I'm excited? I'm pumped. By the way, it is my ninth wedding anniversary today. So I'm wearing black because my version of fancy is wearing black. Uh, <laughs> yes, Key. Yes. Uh, yes, Timlin. Hot fire. Yes. Um, and so um, I am dressed up 
in my super hot fire outfit because black and purple eyeshadow is fancy to me. <laughs> okay, uh, homework was like, yes. Okay, awesome, awesome, Ashley. Okay, got it. Got it. So you guys are you guys are, are all excited? Yes. Thank you guys for the congratulations. I'm actually going to dinner right after this video. So <laughs> my husband is like patiently waiting. I'm going to get right into it, okay? So you guys, awesome. Okay, so your corporate offer launch is going to be similar to a program or coaching offer launch in terms of being organized, but it's not similar in any other regard. So you, you, you don't want to treat it like you're launching a corporate offer. I'm sorry, a coaching program. You want to treat it like you're launching a corporate offer. So as you're going out there, you want to have a plan. You want to be organized. Okay. <laughs> yes. Cause he definitely, definitely told me to not schedule anything today. And I totally forgot. So he's being super patient with me because we have to reschedule our dinner. Uh, hashtag, uh, don't judge me. Okay. Cause I completely, y'all I've been, this was supposed to be on a different date, but I decided to move it up earlier. So that's kind of what happened. So, but it's okay. He, my husband is super supportive and he's like, girl, do your thing. Right. Um, so I'm going to get into it. So you guys, you want to be very strategic. You want to be very strategic and organized if you want to be successful in getting corporate clients. Super strategic, super organized. Say it again. Super strategic, super organized. What? Super strategic, super organized. So if you have not already, go ahead and pull out your workbook for day number three or your page or turn to the page for day number three, creating your corporate client marketing plan of action. And I want you guys to go ahead and uh, get that ready because I want you to say a mantra. And this is a mantra that I want you guys to think about when you are going after corporate contracts, right? And the mantra is, which is the first section in the workbook, so you guys can go ahead and fill that in. The mantra is, I serve in my purpose when I market and sell my corporate offer. I'm going to say that again. I serve in my purpose when I market and sell my corporate offer. One more time for you guys who, who writes a little bit slower. I serve in my purpose when I market and sell my corporate offer, right? What does that mean? Number one, you are probably called to do a, a certain thing, right? Do you know what your purpose is? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys the opportunity. So in the next part of the workbook, it says my purpose and you're going to put in what your purpose is. So for example, my purpose is to serve, teach, lead, or educate whoever that person is. Be very specific what kind of person they are to, you know, to whatever your transformation is. So I want to see them. I really want to see them, you guys. My purpose is to either serve or to teach or to lead or to educate a certain person or type of people or company on how to, what's a transformation, right? I want you guys to think about that and let me know. But that's, 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 in, that's in the workbook, right? That's the second part of the workbook. Why is this important to understand? A lot of people get very psyched out behind of the idea of going after a corporate contract, right? It becomes so scary. It becomes this big thing. It becomes this huge to do when really and truly it's really not that deep. It's really not because it's they, the people who are in charge of that contract is the same kind of person as a client. But what makes it so scary is that they're coming with a big corporation, right? But when you think about them as a person, and I want you guys to, I love to do this, this exercise with people because it helps you to see that person as a person. So imagine this, imagine that this girl, we're going to call her Jean. Jean is super amazing at her job. She just got a job as an HR director. She worked so hard to get this job. She started from the bottom. Maybe she worked at a hotel, right? She used to be a, a maid. She would clean the bedrooms, at the, the rooms in the hotel, right? And she would clean and clean and clean and clean. And then she moved up and she moved up to front desk, but she's always wanted to work in HR, but she knew that she had to start from somewhere. So she, she did that. Then she went to concierge. Then she went to another area, right? And then finally she went in, in the first level in the, in the HR office and she's young. She's like, let's say she's like 27 years old, right? 
but she's been working for a long time and she got in the first level and her boss who was over the, the, the HR department quit and there's no one else, but she's so versed in everything because she has been ready and waiting for this opportunity. Right. And she's so excited about this opportunity that they have her acting as the HR director. Right. And then, and then they're like, you're doing such a good job. You have to do that for this. We're going to go ahead and give you the position, right? And she's 27 years old in this amazing position. And now she has this authority. She has this authority. She has a budget. She has a team. And she's like really bright eyed, bushy tail, ready to take on the whole entire world, right? We all know when you first get a job, we want to move mountains initially, right? So now Jean is so excited. She has this job. But as a month passed by, she realizes that now in leadership, she's her eyes are being open to certain things that she's always wanted to make a difference in. She's like, well, there is no team leadership here. Like our, there's no teamwork going on in the office or, you know, their their communication is just terrible. Or, you know, we could do better at planning events for our for our, our, our employees here in the company. Right. Or we would love to have you know, little treats and stuff that we provide to the employees because we want to make them feel like they're at home as the HR director, right? Because I'm, I'm in charge of human resources, right? And in order for my human resources to feel welcome and stay, I just had a discussion on my page earlier about Barney's closing down and Macy's closing down 125 stores. And on, on the comment section, I was talking about how important it is for the employees that work there to build relationship with the customers and make them feel welcome and like family because people will go out of their way to keep coming back, right? And so doing stuff like that helps people to feel welcome within the, corp the, the, the corporation. So now Jean is excited and she's looking for what? Solutions. She's looking for brilliant ideas. She's looking for things that she can do, right? To make this a reality but she's struggling because she doesn't have the time to plan. <laughs> she's too busy meeting with employees who are stressed out, dealing with compensation packages, having hiring and firing meetings. She is too busy. She doesn't have the time for it. She, she don't have the time. And even though her intentions are amazing, she literally is too busy to do it. So guess what happens? It goes on the back burner and it keeps going on the back burner. And it keeps going on the back burner until a year from now, nothing has happened, even though it's her heart, but it's still at the back of her mind. And she definitely wants to do it, but she just has not had the time to do it. It's like that smoke detector that keeps going off in your house. It's in the back of your mind till you kind of forget it a little bit until someone comes in your house and says, girl, can you hear that noise in your house? Like what's going on? Who do you need to be? The one that comes into the house and says, What's going on? Now, here you come, bright eyed, bushy tail, like, hey, I see that you are such an amazing HR director. You have such passion for your people. I listened to you talk to someone else at the restaurant or maybe at a networking event. I heard you talking about, you know, how passionate you are about your job and how much you want to create the best experience for your employees. And I was listening to you and I just thought that we should definitely have a conversation. Let's talk about this because I, I think I have some answers that's going to help save you time, make you look great at your job, even though you're amazing at your job, but make you look even more, you know, excellent at your job, right? Put you up on star status at your job and also have the effect and the desired effect that you want, which is making your employees feel welcome, hence increasing the retention rate. Would you be open to having a conversation about that? So I just walk you guys through a scenario. Did anyone get inspired by that? I, I just want to say, if you did get inspired, say hashtag inspired. Hashtag inspired. If you definitely got inspired by that, hashtag inspired you guys. I, I just I just walk you guys through a whole scenario. Hashtag inspired. Anyone? Anyone? Let me look at the comment section here. All right. Yes, Jamaica says me. There we go. I'm gonna put you you up, girl. Yes, yes. Inspired. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I love this, you guys. 
Anyone else inspired? Hashtag inspired, you guys. I want to see you. I walk you guys through a whole scenario. Yes, Desiree. Hashtag inspired. Yes. Monica says <laughs> inspired. Yes, hashtag inspired. Awesome. What did that do for you just now? I want you to let me know, like, what did that just, how did you feel when I walk you through that scenario? And what came up for you in that moment when I walked you through that scenario? And what went through your mind? Like, I want you guys to, to, to have a conversation with me, right? I want to kind of coach you guys through this moment, this aha moment you guys are having, this inspiration moment that you guys are having. What came up for you in this moment, right? I want to know what came up, okay? Yes, Tiffany. Yes, awesome. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Yes, woohoo. Yes, absolutely. This is this is when you put things into perspective, it takes the fair away because you realize that the corporation is really just gene. When you really narrow it down, right? The corporation is not gene, but when you narrow it down from the big picture to like really focus in it and zone in, then it really becomes Jean needs my help and I can absolutely help Jean because she's overwhelmed and she needs some answers right now. How many of you feel like doing this becomes a little bit more easy when you think about it from that perspective? Right? That's why it's important to build relationship with the decision maker because now you're not looking at it as this corporation. You're looking at it as Gene needs me. Yes. And that's why I actually use examples and scenarios from everyone that I saw that, who did the homework, which is why there's a method to my madness, you guys. There's a method to my madness. I use things that I saw on that post communication, event planning, baking, etc. So that's why it's important to do your homework so I can use you as an example so you can get even more inspiration. Okay? All right. So I I really want to know what came up for you. So 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 Jamaica told me what came up for her. Um Monica says an aha moment, my services are valuable and need. I'm going to put that up because that is super that is super um, important, you guys. And a lot of people don't really see things from this perspective, but I really want to hold on y'all. I really want to highlight this because I really want this to stick for you guys. My services are valuable and needed. And that is the absolute fact. That's the absolute fact. How many genes do you think there are right now? How many people do you know right now who got a promotion at their job and they feel overwhelmed. How can you ease their overwhelm with your services? I can imagine that the person who was in charge of making a decision to close down Barney's, there was a trickle effect, right? Before I got to that point, there were some other issues that were going on with the different leadership staff that they just could not figure out. They could not figure out what was happening or what needed to be done fast enough for them to not have to close down, right? That could have been finances. That could have been a better management of time. That could have been returning a, a lot, you know, not being able to retain employees. That could have been their employees feeling like they're not welcome or they're overworked and so they leave, whatever that is. But there was a solution. There is always a solution. And when I'm saying always a solution, I know a solution is also to close down, but I'm pretty sure that there's, there's other things that could have happened that could have prevented that from happening. It's your job to be the person that prevents that from happening. I hope that, 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 um, that resonates with someone. Okay. So I want you guys to understand that the people that we are called to serve will continue to suffer in silence if you don't sell. Oh, I'm using the S word. Oh, 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 that just happened. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It sure did. It sure did. It sure did. If you don't sell your product or service, the people that you're called to serve will continue to suffer. In what? 
silence. You think a company like Barney's wanted to, 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 to close down? I'm pretty sure people are embarrassed. Um, another one of the companies that closed down that I, I that broke my heart. I don't know if you guys know this. If you follow me, um, you guys know that my, I'm, I want to go to Fashion Week this year in September, New York Fashion Week. And one of my favorite designers, um, I got to know him through Project Runway, and I got to like kind of like his personality and like how he does, you know, a lot of the red carpet of celebrities and the Met Ball Gala and stuff like that. And that's his name is Zach Posen. And his his um his clothing line closed down a couple of years ago. And it was devastating for the industry. It was devastating. But he just could not get it together in his company quick enough. And things like that happen all the time. Do you think while he was on Project Runway, this was all happening? All the stuff that was going on while he was on Project One Way, on the news, on the red carpet, on shows, on TV, looking all great, looking all successful, like everything is perfect. While he was doing that, his company was being ready, to, getting ready to close down. And that's what you need to understand. A lot of companies are suffering in silence and things look perfect on the outside. Never assume. I can't tell you how many companies that I've spoken with that were like, oh my gosh, like we really need this and let's hire you or we really need this, but we just can't afford that, that rate. Regardless of what they say, we really need this is the point. And I learned from that, that, oh my gosh, people need my services. They are valuable, like Monica says, and needed. All right. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. All right. So if you want to serve in your purpose powerfully and profitably, you guys, you have to sell your product and service. So again, I want you guys to what what, what is your purpose? Put your purpose in the comment in, in the comment below. What is your purpose? Right? What is your purpose? And I want you guys to think about your purpose as you're putting that in, what your purpose is. Um, remember, think about it as what are, are you here to teach, serve, educate? Who are you here to do that with? And what is the transformation you're hoping to get them, help them? So I'm going to give you an example. My purpose is to educate amazing, brilliant entrepreneurs, service-based entrepreneurs, on how to land high-end corporate contracts that close so that they can be more impactful and, and profitable. Right? And the ultimate part of that, you guys, is that I'm called to help entrepreneurs like you live in your fullest purpose while you make profit. Like I'm here to help you live your purpose. That's my purpose. That's the ultimate bottom line. But if I were to get more specific, it's I can help you live your purpose if you're able to get those contracts, get paid what you're what you're worth, serve at a high level, serve an authority. All right. So what are corporate while you guys are working on that? I know it's a lot to think about and you guys are thinking, but I do want you to put it in. It's also your homework assignment in the workbook. Um, in the work before you guys to fill in. But while you guys are thinking about that, I want to continue. So what do you think corporate leaders are worrying about right now? That's the thing. When we talk about on day one, the problem, the pain point, this is some examples of what they are worrying about right now. What keeps them up at night? Literally, what's keeping them up at night? What's what's keeping them, you know, from being successful? What's keeping them from living peacefully, right? They're stressed out. And I'm going to give you a list of things that a lot of managers and CEOs and decision makers are that's keeping them up at night right now. Okay, so the first thing is team productivity. And you can literally do a research on this and you'll find that productivity within a team in the corporation is a big problem for a lot of decision makers. Another one, meeting sales quota, right? And so if you know a way to get someone to meet a sales quota, if you've been in sales and you're good at sales, then you should be pitching. High turnover rate. What can you do or what can you position yourself as? And how can you position yourself as a solution to high turnover rate or to meeting sales quotas or to being productive, right? Low frequency with employees and leaders, meaning low vibe. They're very disgruntled. They're very negative. They gossip. There's like contention in the workplace. 
very low frequency employees and leaders, like a toxic workplace environment. That's another thing that keeps leaders up at night. What about talent management? Like finding amazing people and those amazing people, mainly millennials, leaving after a few months because they can't take the nonsense, right? What about innovation, right? Like example with Toys R Us, they were not innovative, right? And so they closed down. So a lack of innovation is a big deal, right? Lots of companies have closed down because of a lack of innovation. How can you position yourself as a solution to a, an innovation issue? What about millennial employees? Like, I feel like a lot of uh, corporations are like so lost when it comes to managing millennials or, or having millennials or attracting millennials to their team because they know we need millennials to stay. There's this whole thing that millennials don't stay. They don't, they're not staying in one place for a long time, right? And so they're like, how do we fix this? This is actually a big thing that corporations put money into, right? The competition, staying ahead of the competition. How can you position yourself as a solution for them staying ahead of the competition? You want to think about it from these perspectives, diversity and inclusion issues or legal issues that comes as a lack of diversity and inclusion, right? You guys know Gucci was under fire for having the 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 blackface type um merch right and they like a lot of companies are spending millions and millions of dollars from lawsuits as a result of lack of diversity and inclusion how can you present yourself as a solution for that legal legal issues right how can you present yourself as a solution for that accounting issues right maybe accounting in terms of their staff who has to do their own accounting they're not doing it correctly and so they leave or maybe they themselves just lost an accountant and so you can be their accountant for hire like what like uh, you could become their their finance department or a or, or a mobile cfo for hire right what about going paperless maybe you are all about digital right go tech digital are you tech is your whole entire world like how can you position yourself as a solution taking them from paper world to all online world safely what about um marketing in a modern way and what about emerging technology like they're so lost like how do what how do i use this this app or how do we create apps or how do we become more modern right what about leadership in general? How can you position yourself as a, the solution for the leaders? What about sexual harassment issues? Like I just listed out a whole, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. How many of these 17 things resonates with you as, oh my God, I can be the solution to one of these problems. Anyone? You want to get clear on the exact, the exact problem that they're having and use that in your copy, in your in how you write your emails, in how you position yourself online, in how you create videos. You want to make sure that it's very clear and you're using that those words specifically in their the way that they understand it. Like, oh my gosh, high turnover. That they understand. Team productivity, that they understand. Sales quota, that they understand. Right? You guys feel that? Okay, good. Now, now that you know what it is, you have to have a proven system that works. So if you are a coach, do you have clients that have gotten results as a result of working with you? If yes, let me know. Someone says four of 17. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. If you have worked with clients and they've gotten results. I want you to say yes, yes. Yes, yes. If you've worked with, with clients, no matter what kind of clients they are, whether it's paid or not, and they have gotten results based on how you want to position yourself in the corporate world, I want you to say yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay? Even if you're watching on the replay, join in. Yes, yes. Okay? If you have helped your clients to get results, or you have 
some kind of result that you have gotten for yourself. Maybe you're like, I don't have clients, but my social media following is, I have, I have 60,000 followers organically. Then that's a result. So yes, yes, if you've gotten a result or getting yourself results that you can help, that you can position yourself as a solution. Yes, yes. I want to see more. Yes, yes. So we see uh, Ashley says, yes, yes. Awesome. So you have a proven uh, transformation that gets results. Timlin says, yes, yes. So you have a proven track record for getting results for your clients. Anyone else? Yes, yes. All right. This is so important because, again, we want to lead with what? Results. So if you don't have results right now, what you need to do is go get you some. Do what it takes to get you some results documented. If I were you, I would have at least three really good results documented. Tiffany says, yes, yes. Okay. I want you guys to get three really good results documented. Sorry, I'm looking at the question. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and answer that. I'm going to also put this on my Q&A question for next week. Uh, for it's not with next week, it's for Saturday. But you just go get it, right? For people who don't have results, go get results. Go work with someone. Go and, you know, when I first started out in business five years ago, um, I would go into Facebook groups and offer my services for free and get testimonials. Right? I would go in and say, hey, I'm a new business owner and I would love to get, I would like to do a case study um, with some people to see if my method really works for blah, 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 blah. So anyone's willing, right? You want to get three good testimonials of result. I'm talking about the transformation. Like before I came to you, I definitely struggled with this thing. And after I was done, I had clarity. I had results. I had this thing. Whatever it is, you want to have some kind of results. Yes. Okay. Good. All right. So now, now that you have that, you now must educate them, the people, the corporation, the corporate decision maker on the cost of their problem. The cost of their problem. Okay. The cost of their problem. How much is it costing them? to have the problem that they're having. And so we did that in day number one. So now you know the cost, right? You should have the cost. So it's costing you, your, your, com your competition is winning. It's costing you, you know, millions in Facebook ads when you don't have to do that, right? Right now you're spending 100,000 a month on Facebook ads when really and truly you can get the same results or better with 50,000. What's the cost? What's the cost? Okay. Okay, good. So let me go ahead and pull up the workbook and uh, make sure that I'm here. Let's see. I'm gonna pull up the workbook. So we're gonna get into it um, on the get organized session. We're gonna get. We're gonna go into filling up the phases, the marketing action plan phases of getting and closing corporate contracts in just a second. But I want to see what corporate contracts work for you. So Jasmine, uh, she's an author coach. She helps her clients to write books. She just recently closed a contract with a middle school helping them with writing and consulting on that, right? Right, that's that's an author coach. Another one of my clients is a marketing coach. She helps people with social media and ads and stuff like that. She closed a multi-five-figure multi contract. Right, another one of my clients, she is um, all about budgeting and finances. Like she's, a, she's literally called a bougie budgeter. She closed a contract where she sold all of her workbooks to a nonprofit organization for a bunch of their youth or some, I think it was about their, their youth, right? That's a contract that she closed. Timlin, who's on here, has closed a few different things, right? Uh, Timlin, um, and she's an accountant. She's worked with multi-level or multi-level marketing companies as well as uh, the private sector type companies, right? What else? If you're a hairstylist and you provide a hair service, you can partner up with cosmetology schools on how to market yourself online because you have been able to be successful in getting clients online, right? And so you can teach other up and coming hairstylists how to be booked out in their hair business 
using social media. Another example, makeup artistry, the same thing. Massage therapist. Maybe you are a massage therapist and you want to train others on some techniques that you've learned and then you want to teach them or maybe you want to train them on marketing, how to be booked out, right? Event planners, same thing. So you want to think about like, how can you make this work? So which one would you prefer? Would you prefer to do this correctly from the beginning? Like have all the right answers, right? And, or, you know, you're like missing stuff in your steps. You want to have them all done in the right way, right? Have the right step-by-step -step action plan, right? So you want to have everything step-by-step-by-step-by-step, by step by step by step, what do I do? And so good news is I'm going to break it down for you. There are 10 phases. There's 10 phases in the marketing plan. Like when you go after those corporate contracts, there's 10 phases that I want that I typically go through. Okay, 10 phases. We're going to go into it real quick. Are you guys ready? Hashtag ready if you're ready. Hashtag ready if you're ready. I want to just double check here. Hashtag ready if you guys are ready. Just double check here. So that's just that's uh, my team member texting me the giveaway winners. We're going to get there in just a second. All right. Hashtag ready if you're ready. The first phase. I haven't seen any hashtags. Are you guys ready or not? Like, are you guys like actually ready? <laughs> I know there's a little bit of a delay though. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up and just see because you know, I'm looking at my back end and I'm lo also looking at my page on my phone to make sure that I'm not missing anything, you guys. Hashtag ready. Hashtag ready. Yes, they're coming in now. I see you. I see you. Awesome. Okay. We're going to get into the 10 phases real quickly here. I'm going to pull this up, make sure everything is good. There we go. Phase number one, planning. I'm going to read them all out so you guys can fill them in and then I'm going to come back and circle back and break it down. Phase one is planning. Phase two, let me pull up my workbook, creating value. Phase three, pricing. Phase four, corporate partnership or sales page that can convert. So it's like a corporate partnership page, but it's like a sales page, right? Uh, five, prospecting and promotion. Six, invitation. Seven, sales conversation. Eight, closing. Nine, contract prep and delivery, and 10, follow-up. I'm going to go over it one more time, and I'm going to go into what each thing means. Number one, planning. Two, creating value. Three, pricing. Four, corporate partnership page, or in this, it will be considered what you guys would know as a sales page that converts. Five, prospecting. Six, uh, 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 invitation. Seven, sales conversation. Eight, closing. Nine, contract prep and delivery. And 10, follow up. All right. So we have that. Everyone got that. Everyone wrote that in their workbooks. Want to make sure you guys get that so that I can go in and go in, uh, break down what each one is. Hashtag got it. If you got it, hashtag got it. All right. Want to make sure you guys are with me. Are you guys with me? Are you guys with me? Hashtag got it. Okay. Okay. Let me go ahead and just uh, pull up each one and break down what each one is. So you guys have clarity on how to move forward. Hashtag got it. Okay, you guys. All right. Let's go ahead and pull this up. My notes here. Okay. I'm excited. I'm excited. One and seven. Um, okay, so one, number one is planning and number seven is sales conversation. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Got it. Awesome. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yay. Okay. Awesome. You guys got it. Great. So let's break it down. Planning. What is planning? So basically planning is kind of what we're doing right now. We're already in phase one. We're planning out what our offer is. Right, we're planning out what that looks like. We're planning out, you know, what we want to do, how we want to present it. Like, what what can we create that's going to be so transformational, so mind blowing that people are just like, oh my gosh, like, here's my here's my coins, like, flinging it at you, right? So this is what that is. You're planning, like, your thought, like, what is your offer? How do you want it to go? You also want to think about your outline, like, how do you want to do it? Do you want it to be a four hour work session? Do you want to be a two hour training? Do you want it to be a consulting gig where you just come in and give advice? 
Do you want to be to be a done for you service where you come in and you're doing the work for them with your team? Do you want it to be a um, a retreat? Like, what do you want to provide for them so that they can feel supported and get to tr transformation? Right. So you want to break it down and make up a, a thing, make a package, make a deal, make something. Right. This is where you're planning that out. Right. And I really want you guys to really think about planning this out. Number two, creating values. This is where you're thinking about, okay, we're in number two as well. We're talking about the value of the offer, right? We're like, okay, well, this is what I'm doing. Here's how much it costs to not solve this. Here's how I'm going to create value for you guys, right? That's where you're creating value. You're thinking about how you can make this the most valuable for them. So there, like, it doesn't matter what your offer price is. People are like, oh my gosh, the reason why they said no is because my price is too high. Absolutely not. People are closing 100K contracts for four hours a month. That's not the problem. The problem is how valuable does it seem or is it for the corporation? And if you don't have the, if you haven't struck that right nerve, it's not going to feel valuable for them. So create value. Three, pricing, right? Think about your offer and like really think about your time that you're going to be putting into this. How much money you want to make? There's a whole calculation that I use for my clients where we're going to, that's, that's, you know, something that you, if you're coming to my retreat, um, I'll be talking about that in a little, little bit. Uh, you'll have all that stuff on the retreat. When we go to the actual retreat, we're going to break down your pricing. Um, I think it's going to be on day number three. We're going to be doing our pricing for uh, your offer. So if you're coming to the retreat, um, that's going to be happening here on St. Thomas. Uh, yes, it's going to be amazing. Okay. So pricing, right? Break down like how much do I want to pay? How much do I want to make from this thing? How much time am I going to be putting in? Am I going to be hiring a, a, a subcontracting out so that I don't have to be there all the time? Like, what is this going to be? If you want, want to really think about all of your expenses, cost of making this happen successfully, how much you want to profit, um, you know, industry standard for profit on a service, et cetera, and create your pricing, okay? Your sales page or your corporate partnership page is basically a page where you break down it's a landing page, right? It's a page where it breaks down your value even more for them, right? It has something with that introduces you, maybe like a one sheet on there, your bio, like what makes you valuable, right? Your results, all that stuff is going to be on that page. So you want to get your information and put it up on a page so they can get to know you, get to understand you so that the question isn't, how are you valuable again, right? All of your stuff is on one place. So that when you're having a conversation, you just give them the link to that and say, hi, I'm the robot. If you want to know more information about me, here's my, my page, whatever you want to, how we want to go about that. Okay. Prospecting. So this is where we talked about um, where you're going out and you're looking for people. We talked about, you know, I think it was yesterday. Yes. Yesterday we actually talked about, you know, how to get conversations with decision makers, right? You're prospecting, you're doing all of this stuff. Then you're inviting them to a conversation with you. You're inviting them to a conversation with you. Once you prospect, you invite. You prospect, you invite. If you're not prospecting, inviting and closing sales, you're not in business. Prospecting, inviting, closing sales. Prospecting can be a webinar, lunch and learn. We talked about all that yesterday. So if you want to know more about what prospecting looks like, go watch yesterday's video because I gave you a lot of examples as to how you can get some amazing leads. Okay. So you're not generating leads by prospecting, right. And closing sales, you're not in business, you guys. So you, and here's the thing about my program and working with me and, and what I teach it's my clients are mo mainly coaches, uh, service-based entrepreneurs, consultants, speakers, trainers, right. And a lot of times uh, Finita just dropped the link for my retreat. If you guys are interested in learning more about the retreat, she just dropped the link for the retreat in the chat box. Thank you, Finita. Um, one of the, the side um, effects of working with me is my client's coaching program sells out. So one of my clients, she came to me, she was initially selling um, like $500 courses and she was making good money. Like she was really making good money in her business. But her courses was like $500 and like $1,500 for a coaching session with her. Like, you know, it was like very much like that. And she was like making a lot of passive income from courses. But she was getting tired. She was getting exhausted. And she wanted to level up 
her brand. She wanted to step into her authority and start attracting high quality dream clients, right? Who have no problems paying her $5,000, $10,000, like private clients. And then start working with corporate clients who can pay her multiple six figures, multiple five figures. And so when, we, when she came to work with me, the first thing we work on is your business model. Why is that important? Because number one, one of the biggest mistakes people make is trying to merge corporate, corp, getting corporate clients with their current existing business model that doesn't work with, it doesn't allow you to get corporate clients. Like your business model, if you're disorganized, you don't have a project management system, you don't have, you don't know how to delegate, all this is not right. Then getting corporation, get, getting corporate clients is going to be like, a, it's going to be like, a, it's going to feel overwhelming. And my job is never to make this feel overwhelming for you. I want it to feel like symbiotic. Like, it's just this is my business. Coaching clients, corporate clients, coaching client, corporate clients. It feels like one flow, right? And so a byproduct of that is she switched from selling those $500 courses. She closed them out. She sold them all out. She switched from that model, shut down that entire website, rebranded her entire business, right? I was like, you're dramatic, but she's, she's just amazing. She's a go-getter. She's all in. She came in four days after she's already closed. She already made like 24,000, like a couple of weeks after she made, like, I think it was about $37,000. And within about a month, she made about 50 grand. She sold out her $5,000 program. You guys, that's a byproduct. Why, why am I saying that? Because my method for getting corporate clients, right? The way that I teach it works for getting high end private clients. That's why I always say, close high-end and corporate clients because the method works, right? So if you're struggling with, oh my God, I can't get high-end contracts. One of the biggest things that happens when you get that corporate client is that you're like, oh, I'm worth like real money. Oh, okay. Uh, ma'am, that's going to be $5,000. That's going to be $10,000, ma'am. Okay. That's what starts to happen. It's a byproduct of getting this done right. And I'm bringing that up because we master the art of negotiation in the sales conversation, right? And she posted the other day, she was like, I got, an, she got two team members because again, I'm concerned about your business. It's not just about the corporate contract. It's about your business in general. Your business has to be solid and legit, have systems. Your banking needs to be legit. Your accounting needs to be legit. You're, you need to have start creating, you don't have to have a huge team. One person, if they're trained correctly, needs to be set up right. So my clients have access to my course all about building a team with contracts, templates, proposals, everything in there for team members, description, job description, how to find the right people who are going to stay, who are going to be with you. Like I have a whole entire course on that. They get that in my program, right? And so she was like, I hired two people and her business is like going like this, 50 grand in a month. like clockwork clockwork she sold 10 seats in her high-end program out when she was like she's never sold a 5k program in her life before never and she was like these people are buying like hundred dollar products five hundred dollar products like who's gonna buy this five thousand dollar product and i'm like do this correctly master this process i'm gonna show you and guess what like that she sold out her program so now she's like okay now this is sold out and i'm like my program is filled let me go ahead and get these corporate contracts because it works, <laughs> right? So that's why I say there's the invitation and the sales conversation and the closing. Those three things is the part where I work with my clients on because this is important. If you master this, the right way you can close clients in your coaching private business, in your high-end offer, and with high-end corporate clients. Make sense? Yes, yes. Then on number eight, which so let's talk about closing real quick. Closing comes with negotiation. You need to be able to navigate a negotiation, maybe not flawlessly, but comfortably. And so here is a part where a lot of people, a lot of contracts go to die. A lot of proposals go to die in this area right here, which is the, which is the closing, right? You maybe have a prospect, you maybe have a lead and you're like, wow, yes, yes, I'm really excited. This is amazing, right? I'm excited for this, right? And they're like, okay, I want to hear more about your thing. And you tell them about your offer and they're like, okay, great. We're, we'll get back with you. Maybe you give them the price and they're like, okay, we're going to get back to you. Right. You need to learn how to close that person as a client. If you don't have the skill to close contracts, 
then literally your business is not going to survive. And this method, no matter how, what you do, if you learn this, you can close contracts with a, with a corporation or with a high-end client. Right. My clients are leveling up their services. They come into me. One of my clients, she came in. She's like an older person. Like she's she's been doing this for a long time. But her offers is, you know, was like two thousand dollars. And I'm like, you're coming in with all this expertise, all this experience, all this knowledge, all this brilliance. And you're charging two thousand. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Absolutely not. And so we had a conversation and she was so like. No, like who was like, I need to be charging this 2000 because I want to feel comfortable. And then we're going to go there. And guess what happened? She let go. She trusted the process and she closed a $5,000 client after she was like, so sure that no one was going to pay that, like the way that she wanted to. And it was easy. It became very easy. And I want to share that with you guys, because I want you to understand that you may be thinking, who's going to pay me that? Like I'm, I'm getting the $2,000 clients right now, like the $2,000 clients, you know, I can get that. But you're like, I want to close five and 10 K clients. I want to close 50 and hundred K contracts. You got to master this part right here, the closing, right? So getting confident. And the thing is that people don't understand is the closing part has really nothing to do with your strategy per se. It has to do everything with you, how you show up on that closing meeting. Right. I tell you, I'll never forget this. This white guy was like, she's a tough cookie. She's a tough cookie because I negotiated the breaks off of that contract. <laughs> the breaks off of that contract. Okay? The breaks. And I will upsell so fast. Right? I don't play. And I teach you how to go in. I am, like, y'all, don't mistake how I laugh and I'm smiling in my pink hair for believing that I'm like, you know, like, uh, no, no, no. In my meetings, I literally wear the pants. Because I'm coming in confident in who I am, confident in my ability, confident, you know, in how I can serve you and help you with transformation. So you either take it or leave it. And the way I lay it out, like literally, they're like, "Wow, I'll be, I'll be stupid to walk away from this." Huh? I didn't say that. Who? <laughs> I've heard people say like, "I'll be, I'll be dumb to walk away from this." Like this is. Like you set it up, like how you thought of everything. Absolutely. That's how you close contracts. When you go into a corporate meeting and you have it laid out. By the way, if you're coming to the retreat, you guys, I know Timlin is coming and a couple of people who are on here are coming. Um, you guys, we're, we're creating this layout process for you guys. So when you go into a meeting, you're like, just like that. And you know what's so, what my, well, the, thing, the thing that makes me smile and that gives me like a fire in my belly to do this is I attract women of color. I attract people of color and I attract people of all races, but especially people of color because I'm a person of color. And you know, what's so exciting to me when my clients can go into a meeting with a bunch of people who are the stereotypical accepted type of person, right? Who they will be the minority in that meeting and they walk out with multiple five and six figures. That right there, whew, whew, that gives me chills. That gives me chills. That part, okay? That's what I live for. That's my coffee. I live for that stuff, okay? So I want to go ahead and recap. Your phases of closing contracts, planning, create value, pricing, your sales page. I call it, you call it sales page, but I call it your corporate partnership page because it makes them understand how you can, they can partner with you. Prospecting, the invitation, the sales conversation, closing, contract prep. Let's go over contract prep. This is where you're like, okay, I just closed the contract. Yay, awesome. Okay, now the work has begun, okay? Now it's time, you guys, now is the time to prepare, to provide and deliver the most amazing service of your life. This is the part where my clients and I work together because I want to make sure that they're confident in nailing it. Why? Because what was the point? We talked about this yesterday. Let me see if you guys can remember. 
Let me go back to yesterday's lesson. Um, it was it yesterday. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna go back to this. Here we go. Here we go. It was not yesterday. It was day one. You want to close contracts that be, can be leveraged to, and so that you can be booked all year round. Which is, we're going to be talking about that tomorrow. And so you want to deliver an amazing, amazing presentation, training, service. You want to blow their minds. You want the people to be so blown away that they're like, Ma'am, how can we have you come back? Because I, I don't know, like, what, are, like, where have you been? Where, where, where have you been all our lives? That's what you want, okay? So, in the workbook, before I continue, there's a section that breaks down your corporate client marketing action plan. You're gonna put in the numbers. You're gonna where it says one, two, three is blank, and it says date next to it. You're gonna put in number one, which is planning, and you're gonna put when are you gonna complete your planning by? Number two which is uh, creating value. When are you gonna finalize what your value is? Number three, and so on and so forth. I want you guys to go ahead and fill that out in your workbook, okay? All right, let me come back here to my notes. So I want you guys to understand, right, that each phase has its own task under it, right? It has its own task. So phase one of planning, you're brainstorming, you're coming up with an outline, you're coming up with well, everything we did in the last couple of days, that's phase one. There's different tasks that you guys did, right? That's under one phase. Phase two, creating value. How can I make, what, what is my, what's the breakdown of my offer? How can I make this the most valuable? That's just, they have its own set of tasks, right? Your pricing, how am I gonna, like what I need to go research the market. I need to go see what my, um, my, my, it would be to sell contract and get the quote for this and get the quote for that and get the quote. For, you see what I'm saying? Every, every phase has its own task list. All right, you guys. And if you're coming to the retreat, like I told you guys, you're going to get this, like, you don't have to worry. You're going to get this handed to you. It's going to be handed to you. Okay. Because there's going to be a custom planner that I have a designer working on right now. Ah, you guys, I'm so excited. So the, the, the planner is being designed right now, custom planner, just for you guys. So you guys can literally walk away with it. Do I have a, my, one of my planners here? So I'm going to show you guys an example. So if you don't know, if you don't know, let me just tell. I have um, the event strategy planner. It's actually currently sold on Amazon. Um, and if you guys want to know how to create something like this so you can you can sell this to corporations, like I have clients that does this. Um, I have a whole entire course on this. If you want to get the course on this, please let me know. Um, but anyway, so we're, we're designing a, a planner like this for the retreat. It's not going to be as big, but it's going to be a planner for all retreat attendees. You guys know I'm a planner addict and a notebook addict. And so, of course, I have to get a custom something designed for you guys. So you guys are going to walk away with everything that you need. And it's going to be like your Bible for getting corporate contracts. I can't wait for that. Like, I, you guys know I'm, I, I'm, I'm team extra. And I like to make sure people are, like, well taken care of, okay? So that's why we're going into that. But you want to make sure you create your task list for every single task, okay? It has its own task. So go ahead and break it down for you, right? Break what that down, that, down what that looks like for you. And usually, typically, you guys, it takes about 30 days. If you are, um, yes, thank you so much. Come on, plug, Timolin. I have clients who use this and like literally like they're just like out here, you know, Timolin created her own planner. It's gorgeous. Timolin, you should, you should post a link to your planner. Um, cause she's my, you guys, Timon is my client. <laughs> so she can do that. All right. Post a link to your plan so people can see that what you created from the course, um, hashtag plug. Um, but anyway, so usually if you are dedicated and if you are on top of things, if you are an action starter, if you're a self-starter rather, and you take action and you're like very self-motivated within 30 days or so. Um, you can literally go through the phases and, and do what you got to do to close a contract. That's why I said you can close this contract in 30 days. You, because you can actually do it that way. Right. So I want you guys to, 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 to go ahead and go through this. But if you're take a little bit longer, give yourself about 90 days. All right. So I'm wrapping up real quick. Let me go ahead and choose the giveaway winner. Let's choose the giveaway winner. Hey, 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 hey. I love choosing giveaway winners. Uh, let's see. Today's winner, and remember, you have to be on the video. Hi, Dallas. You have to be on the video. 
Yes, the retreat is going to be so lit, you guys. If you guys want to know more information about it, uh, Fenita has linked it down in the, in the comment section. You guys click on it. Uh, it's going to take you to book a call with me because I want to get to know everyone that's coming to the retreat because it's going to be only 15 people can be at the retreat. So far, we only have seven tickets left out of the, the, the 15. Seven is left. So if you guys are interested, please click the link to learn more about it. But at the end of the retreat, you're going to walk away with knowing exactly what you need to do to close contracts, having everything that you need to do to have to close contracts, right? Being confident to go after and close contracts. And my goal is at the retreat, you can close contracts because you're going to get private. You're going to get the coaching there. And it's, it's like a, it's a, it's an elemental themed retreat. So they want is fire, then earth, air, water. Okay. We're going to go ahead and choose a giveaway winner because my husband literally just keep his head in like, hello, ma'am. Um, so the giveaway winner for today, if you are on here, please. Please, please um, say something. Jamaica, are you on this live video right now? I'm going to give you a few seconds to answer. Jamaica, are you here? If not, we're going to go on to someone else. I don't see her. I'm going to give it, I'm going to count down to, to uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. All right. She's not here. Let me go on to the next person that she sent me. And that is, oh, she's here. <laughs> I was so ready to go to the next person. So, Jamaica, you are the winner of today's. Giveaway, you guys. So Jamaica, be on the lookout for a message from me. I'm gonna go get message you for your email so I can go ahead and email you the Amazon gift card. Yes, you're a winner. Congratulations. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and um message she's here. I'm gonna go ahead and get that over to you. So congratulations on winning today's prize. Yay, awesome. Okay, so lastly, before I go, go ahead and map out your action plan. That's your assignment for today, you guys. That is your assignment for today. Um, your action task is to map out your action plan in the phases. Be realistic when you're mapping this out. It's never done. If you've never done a sales page before, don't say, oh, I'm going to get a sales page done in one, in one day, right? Take, like, really be realistic in mapping each day out by when you're going to get things done, okay? Include, a time, include time for your team to help you get it done. Include time to follow up with people and, to, and keep your current schedule in mind, like your current calendar schedule picking up your children from school, keep that in mind when you're putting this into place. Um, make sure that you can actually have time to provide the service. So if you're going to say, I'm going to get this contract by tomorrow and someone says, yes, can, do you have the time to provide the service? <laughs> um, get your planner, get your calendar, put it all in there. Um, so you're going to say my corporate offer begins on this date. I want you guys to go and be very specific. Okay. Use your, use your time to do that. In the retreat, there's going to be a corporate calendar, a corporate client calendar, you guys. I'm, it's like, it's so amazing. It's customized just for this retreat. So I can't wait. Um, so have all these steps in your calendar and like really break it down. I'm just going through really quickly. <clears throat> um, go ahead and post your homework in day two's uh, homework thread. And tomorrow, really quickly, we're going to be talking about how to be booked year round from one contract. Okay. That's pretty much it for today's video. Again, if you guys are interested in coming to the retreat, please do me a favor. Click the link that 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 Trinita posted. It doesn't take you to a checkout cart. It takes you to book a call with me. If you have any questions, we can talk about it. And then if you're the right fit, I make an invitation. You go ahead and make your payment, and then you can come to the retreat. So I'm going to be talking about that more tomorrow, um, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>